How y'all doing? And thanks for tuning in to Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, buses, bicycles, tricycles, SUVs, pickup trucks, station wagons, hot rods, wheelchairs, unicycles, scooters, and 2020 Chevrolet Equinox. Little SUVs like this. This particular truck's going to a surveying company, uh, engineering company, something to do with road construction. And it's 2020 Equinox. We've done this light bar on a different Equinox, a little bit more involved with a, si a Mini 6 switch. This particular client just wanted uber easy, one switch, easy activation. So what you're looking at right here is an En-ROADS 48 inch sound off signal light bar. Now that's mounted with their strap mount, which is good up to 85 miles an hour. So. Hopefully they're not going over 85, and quite honestly, I'm sure it would be okay. They just can't publicly say that, nor will I. So, light bar's rated to 85, and uh, it's an amber white light bar with takedowns and alleys. As you can see, they have white takedowns for the front and alleys on the side. Now, you could independently select all of that if you wanted, or you can make this as easy as we did. One switch turns everything on. It's controlled by what they call a breakout box. That's a sound off product that comes with the light bar. I'm just gonna turn it off while I talk just a minute here so you can uh, kind of get a couple of the details. What I like about this particular light bar is it has basically three cables, power, ground, and a data. The data goes to the breakout box. The breakout box then controls everything about the light bar on a simple app that you program on your computer or tablet. I personally use a Windows Surface Pro here in the shop to program our breakout boxes. And you can always change patterns. You can make all kinds of different functions. It has amazing capability. Uh, and you can even mine it down to something as simple as a one switch, one wire, turn everything on activation. Uh, other light bars on the market are fed by a various amount of trigger wires where you have to control it with say like the mini six switch or you have to combine all of those trigger wires together and that leads to a big fat cable that needs to go through the roof of the vehicle and be fed everywhere this light bar has a small well it's not small but it's it's i would imagine a 14 or 12 gauge i think it's a 14 14 red and black and a cat 5 internet wire so you can imagine much smaller, much more flexible, much easier. Battery and ground, uh, red and black go right to battery and ground, and the internet wire goes to your breakout box, uh, which you then feed off of either ignition, or as I did here, you can set it up where the activation switch fed off of a battery also activates the breakout box and the light bar. That way it'll keep your drain. If you if you hardwire the breakout box to the battery, you could create a potential battery drain. So what we did is we switched the breakout box and the light bar off of one switch. Now to be a little bit more specific about what I mean with strap mount. Behind here, you have a bolt and a knurled coil that hold this strap. You basically pull it nice and tight and then you bolt the two bolts tighter, which actually puts the tension on the strap. And this fat, heavy duty seatbelt strap, it's about four times what any car seat belt is actually gets affixed with fasteners up under the drip rail right here what i like about this is it allows any curvature to this rail here to work so if there isn't a ready-made pre-bent light bar bracket like we have currently for several platforms but if there isn't one you can use the strap and it will conform to the to the structure this inner foot is adjustable in or out you can set it at whatever of course you want to go all the way out to the maximum that you can but you can adjust this and this light bar also under this cover has a tilt adjustment very good feature because not all roofs are, are uh, flat so sometimes you do have to tilt the light bar or you end up with a light bar that's crooked what I mean by that if you, if you take a look at that light bar right now you can see it's nice and level the light is going to be cast out at a true horizontal uh, access not up or down in any way uh, some of these light bars you'll see on cars they're slapped on with the front way down or the back way down and it really makes them kind of useless so um, I'm gonna link to the other video that we did with this very same light bar um, and we're also gonna link to the light bar itself now there's gonna be extra shipping on this light bar so we have it but the shipping is going to be calculated after purchase because we need the address to know how much to charge you to ship this big boy and uh as i said it can be switched with something as simple something as simple as what we did here and the reason we did this is to be truthful this switch was already in the vehicle so we just uh well the hole was there the switch was not so we replaced it with a new amber illumination switch and that runs the entire light bar system 
So, or you could always mount up here like the other vehicle, the Mini 6, if you wanted that feature as well. Speaking on where we ran the wiring, permeated the roof right there with our three quarter grommet, came down underneath the headliner, ran the wiring here above the airbag, down the A panel here, tucked it in with the factory wiring, keeping it away from the airbag, came down here and went through the factory grommet underneath the hood, which I'll show you now. Alrighty, way down in there, you can kind of see where we poked through that factory grommet right there. And that's our wire way in there, down in there. And it's basically coming up right through here. We put a fuse holder on it. I'm gonna put a 15 amp fuse on here, but I probably could have got away with a seven or a 10. Um, we tied into underneath this cover right here. And that's as simple as it is. Of course, we grounded the light bar on the side of the dashboard in here. There's plenty of steel to get a nice, good quality ground right there on the side of the dashboard. There's also factory grounds there if you like. And our break breakout box is also mounted uh, behind the switch on the side of the dashboard there. So hopefully you found this video useful. Hopefully you like this little light bar. Maybe you put one on one of your vehicles. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings. Be sure to check out that other vehicle for a little bit more in-depth review on this sound off En-ROADS light bar on a 2020 Chevrolet Equinox. Sound off signal, 48 inch En-ROADS.